The battle for the Falklands continues. A full report tomorrow on NBC Nightly News. Up next on News Center, three British naval forces suffer heavy losses in the South Atlantic. Council Bluffs teachers take their grievance to the school board. Striking meat cutters will defy an ultimatum issued by Hinky Dinky stores. And layoffs have cut into what was once Omaha's largest private employer. Stay with us. News Center 3 is coming up next. If you work for Western Electric or Northwestern Bell, you have an excellent dental insurance plan that allows you to have dental work done at little or no cost to you. Within your policy limits, you can get the benefits of My American Denture Clinic's quality dental work at little or no charge. You may also get dentures and partials valued up to $1,800 at little or no charge. If you work for any company with a dental insurance plan, call 397-2323 and find out what we can offer you, Dr. Saw Cutler's American Denture Clinic. I've always enjoyed wearing fine clothes, but lately the price of a good suit has gone right through the roof. That's why I'm glad there's a Kuppenheimer factory store right here in town. Kuppenheimer manufactures first quality suits, sport coats, and slacks for retailers nationwide. But here in town, we can save by buying direct from the manufacturer. I used to pay a lot of money for my suits, but not anymore, because now I shop at the Kuppenheimer factory store. Located at 8411 West Center Road, yes. Omaha. Disney animators tonight on Carson. Center 3, where the news comes first. Good evening. Fighting raged in the Falkland Islands again today. Heavy losses of aircraft and naval vessels were reported. And while all that was going on, discussions on a possible ceasefire continue at the United Nations. A report coming out of the United Nations tonight would seem to indicate that Britain and Argentina are near agreement on a compromise Security Council resolution that would ask the Secretary General of the UN to again try and bring about a ceasefire. In the South Atlantic today, Argentina launched a massive airstrike against the Naval Task Force of Britain. One ship, reportedly a destroyer, was heavily damaged, another was hit. Defense sources announced the news of the latest attack at about 4.15 Omaha One of our today. ships of the task force has been badly damaged, and early reports are that she is in difficulty. Reports coming from the British journalist in the area paint a graphic picture of the destruction of the British frigate, the Antelope. There were explosions. They sent sparks and flames high into the air as the ship burned white hot through the night. In Buenos Aires today, thousands of Argentines gathered for the anniversary celebration of their independence from Spain in 1810. Their celebration is much like our 4th of July. The mood of the country is now one of national solidarity. The House of Representatives refused to go on record today in support of an election year plan to balance the budget with billions of dollars of cuts in a single year. Republican John Rousseau, the sponsor of the plan, tried to enlist support for the idea. Talked about it, we have discussed it, we've rehashed it, now you can vote for it, right now. The ultra-conservative California Republican proposed balancing the budget largely through massive cuts in domestic spending, totaling $78 billion next year. The plan was rejected 240.